First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9 says, God is faithful by whom you were called unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. So fellowship is a calling. Hallelujah. Fellowship is a calling. Somebody at that realm must invite you to a higher dimension. Are you together with me at all? Somebody at that dimension must invite you. You must understand, people of God, that every realm you are seeking for, there is a physical man presently there right now dimensions are like offices once people understand the keys that open it they become the territorial commanders of that possibility that every time god is looking for a way to channel that dimension to another dispensation he will refer this one to the one that carries that possibility are we together this far i want you to know that there is a dimension of fellowship i enjoy with god and the reason why god made me the teacher of this series is because he wants us to share in the same fellowship that none should be more than the other in the realm of fellowship we should be the same are you with me at all ladies and gentlemen we have been dealing with the purpose of the holy spirit and today i'm talking about the purpose of the holy spirit part 27 which is spiritual gifts part five part five or part six one of those i'll set it out later on the the, the the spiritual gift the gift of the spirit on tuesday i was explaining to us here that the greatest gift god ever gave us is himself god does not want to give you physical things god wants to give you himself and your relationship with him will determine your ability to possess physical things i know you like to look at the screens look at me hallelujah your ability to develop a relationship with god will give you what access to physical things so i want you to understand today that the promise of the father was and is the holy spirit when bible said that god has a promise for us the era where he will pour out his spirit as in Joel chapter 2 the era of the outpour of the spirit already happened and so and so now any man lacking the holy spirit is because the man lacks a revelation and an understanding you must realize today that what you cannot do for god is because of something you have not known about your rights in christ everything you need to survive as a believer has been given to you but it has been given to you it will take key the key of knowledge to access it so ignorance becomes a killer of potentials in the kingdom of god every time you are ignorant about the availability of a dimension you will be potential Potentially powerful but actually very weak because God stores those dimensions and their realities in a realm only accessible by revelation and so it will take a level of revelation to access a truth to access a dimension that exists in God are you with me at all people of God so we are talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit God gave us the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost came into our life with gift irrespective of how you are irrespective of your background irrespective of what men said about you irrespective of if you were gifted or giftless he does not really care if you had a gift before he came the moment he shows up in your life he comes with bonus called the gift and you must understand the gift of the Holy Ghost are his bonus, which means never exalt his gift above his person. There are people that have taken the gift and thrown the gift of the gift. So now they have demonstration, but they lack relationship. Not understanding that what makes you outstanding is not the demonstration of gift, but it is the intimacy with the giver of the gift. What makes you mature in the demonstration of a gift is your relationship with the giver of that particular gift. And so, and so tonight we'll be dealing with the gift of the spirit. I began with the gift of knowledge. I went to the gift of wisdom. Glory to God. I said that wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. I said knowledge, not the gift of word of knowledge. Many of you don't know what they call prophecy. Many of you are calling prophets. People are putting the gift of knowledge. 
word of knowledge i said word of knowledge makes us a search device it helps us to systematize the word of god it gives you access to uncommon revelation in other words what was in the mind of god when writing a scripture is what is revealed by the gift called word of knowledge which means to say there is a gift called word of knowledge and that gift becomes the foundation by which a man enjoys revelations in the bible your understanding of scripture is at the mercy of the gift of word of knowledge this gift helps you to take advantage of the search ability of the holy spirit he says for no man knows the mind of god save the spirit he said the spirit searches the mind of god and reveals it to us that us there can be termed the us that understand the operations of the gift of the word of knowledge so word of knowledge also helps a man to be able to be filled with the data of the past when it concerns this three dimensional realm which means you are able to see a woman who you have never known before and you can tell her her age her shoe size her husband's name you can describe her condition but the limitation of this gift that this gift cannot see into the future this gift in terms of sight in terms of in quote prophetic ability this gift is limited to the knowledge of the past and the present but in terms of the scope of the future you now need the act gift of prophecy so the gift of word of knowledge is a descriptive gift and a prescriptive gift so I describe your problem by the gift of word of knowledge and then by the gift of wisdom I can prescribe what you need and by the gift of prophecy I can enforce what I described and prescribed so all of these gifts work together for the purpose of building the body of Christ ladies and gentlemen I said on Sunday that every one is part of the main body the eye may be small but no matter what the hand wants to hold it will take the eyes participation to show the hand to see clearly sometimes the hand can touch poison if the hand does not use the eye to walk in destiny I explained to us that a doctor does not go ahead to prescribe medication until the problem of the patient is known which means the zeal of the doctor will not cancel the need for consultation that's the reason why you don't enter the world you first of all pass through the place where you buy a book for consultation nobody is dragged to a hospital bed straight unless it's an emergency case and even if an emergency case they will go and buy the book while rushing the person to the emergency ward because there's a necessity called prescription so god gave us the gift of word of knowledge to give us an advantage over the wickedness of this realm people are wicked somebody can be dating you and has a plan to travel and abandon you it will take word of knowledge to know the intention of this person somebody can be in your life and is planning to destroy you somebody comes to take a loan from you and he knows he will travel in one more time and he makes a plan that i will collect her money and disappear it will take this advanced spiritual technology called word of knowledge it gives you an advantage over the natural man it means you enter a meeting where they discussed on something you don't know about the holy ghost was there he begins to tell you what they said in your absence this gift helps a man to minimize scars it helps a man to maximize relationships which means you will know who to relate with their mouth is saying one thing but the gift in you is telling you something they hid from you many servants of god have died because they lack the gift of word of knowledge many christians have entered wrong investment because they could not predict which investment platform will fall they did not under there are things that happen in your background and you are praying the right prayers but with the wrong understanding it will take the gift of word of knowledge to know who caused the problem in your family this gift does not care your age the ancients of days lives in you and he knows every information you need what a gift that you can sense that the sister beside you is about to commit suicide and you can bail her out of that thought that you can sense that that guy was about to be poisoned and you can bail him out of it where you can sense that this guy is about to enter a trap because the Holy Ghost told you something the guy did not hear I told you that God will walk through gifts 
if there is no gift there will really be an operation of god so before god begins to reveal a possibility he deposits a gift that gift becomes the legal channel by which god can express that dimension of himself i've had to tell people their villages and argue with them i know my accuracy if i say this say no ask your father he will confirm it because there is something that is superior to what your parents told you is what is actually the truth we have the truth and we have the whole truth the whole truth is more than the truth the truth is your father has five children but the whole truth is that he has six that's the whole truth so it will take a believer and this gift is not for pastors this gift does not concern offices offices can take advantage but the gift is not for offices the gift is for every ordinary believer to make them extraordinary believers i can know what you ate today by this gift i can know what you slept yesterday by this gift they could not lie to peter peter was in church and his mentees went to sell land and they he, oh my god they negotiated the price in his absence and when they came before peter and lied he said ah, ah, when you were selling the land who told him it was land they were selling he said you held the money was it not to you so he was even there when ananias was thinking on which portion to steal from many pastors will be harboring these loyal mentees many jobs many businesses will have workers that are stealing money because the owner of the company does not have this spirit see eh? it's painful though i heard about a man who has done a very great business and somebody his assistant opened about 10 ghost accounts and every of these accounts the one of the accounts has a hundred million and the little accounts have 50 million 10 million so this is money that comes to the person's account and the person had the the person hid that info from the main boss so the boss will meet his assistant they will discuss on why the company is falling but the assistant is the reason why the company is falling but because the guy though he has the holy spirit he may have the gift of healing which will just heal the sick but he lacks the gift of word of knowledge which can keep him informed on what caused the sickness any gift you have either limits you or makes you unlimited so there are people that can cure sickness but they lack the ability to accurately describe how the sickness came and sir it's easier to solve a